Um, I define positive institutions as institutions, there's kind of three circles to this, institutions that are able to consistency ele consistently see and elevate human strengths, so the elevation of strengths. The second is to create new combinations and alignments of strengths. I mean, that's basically the purpose of an organization is to create uh, alignments of strengths in ways that make the system's weaknesses irrelevant, so creating the alignment of strengths. And then the third level of the positive institution is the refraction of our highest human strengths out into the world, out into society. So, for example, um, we often don't think this way, but institutions can be vehicles for the magnification of human wisdom vehicles for the magnification of love and caring and compassion in the world, vehicles for um, the magnification of curiosity and science and so on. Um, in fact, that's what an institution is. It's to do things that no individual can do. So when you create that elevation of strengths, that magnification and combination of strengths in the, as an organization does, and then the refraction of our highest human strengths out into society. The via um, typology and classification of human strengths, when Peterson and, and Marty Seligman put that together, it's a classic. And I use it in all of my executive work now um, to help um, begin to set a trajectory and, and build a language for talking about a strength-based form of leadership. Um.